hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install scala so i am going to use the download spd method instead of uh, downloading the intellij so i am thinking this will be very easier so user may need some help installing through sbt so let's get started so just i will press this download spd icon let's see what it does So it took me to the home page of Scala sbt.org. So here is that um, uh, MSI installer which I have already downloaded. So I will just uh, skip this part and I will show my downloads where I have my SBT installed. Okay, but I will cancel this. I know that um, to use this we need to use Java. So if I go back and if I see this getting started document, the installation says I need to have the Java C version. So sorry, it's a Java JDK and JRE. I will check first whether I have Java in my system. So to check this, you need to open your command prompt and run this Java C and minus version. So Java C is not recognized the internal or external command it means it's not installed or it's not defined in the environment variable. So I am pretty sure it is not installed. Let's let's go and install the Java 8. We don't have Java version point. So I need to have Java 8 JDK. So if I directly click on this link, it will take me to Java 9. So be careful uh, to not install this. We need Java 8. So it's better to directly search in Google for Java 8 and uh, we'll get this um, uh, website uh, uh, from Oracle, oracle.com. So you need to download it from Oracle. Please don't download from any other freeware software website. So I, if, as I said, uh, the direct links took to Java JDK 9. So I will close this one. And uh, here you just need to uh, accept the agreement and download the JDK. I will go to downloads. Okay, this is again taking me to Java 9. I will again search. So I finally got the exact download page which I am looking for. I will put this link in the description so that it will make you easier to download it. I will go with x64 uh, which is for 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit operating system use the above one x86. I will again check which bit my operating system is. You see that my system type is 64 bit operating system. So check this here before downloading it. Is it it is okay to download 32 bit uh, Java in a 64 bit operating system? So I will let it download it first, and then I will show you the process of installing. So the download is now complete. I will just uh, click on this icon. Uh, it will directly take me to the installer. The steps are very simple. You just mostly will click on this next icon and just you will finish it. I'm not going to change anything that is given here. I will let the installer to install the Java. So this is just asking me whether I need to J the JRE, so Java runtime environment to install in different place. I am not going to do anything to this. I will just press enter. So it says our Java is successfully installed. Now 
I will go again and check whether this is working. It won't work because uh, we need to set the environment variable. So first you have to go to the C program file since I am I have installed 8, uh, 62-bit it should be under 8, x86 and uh, sorry it will be under program files x86 is for 32-bit and you need to copy this bin location and go to computer properties advanced system settings environment variables and in the path you need to edit it so the last one is powershell for me uh, actually I checked before installing this it was not updated yet so I will put a semicolon and copy the bin location and another semicolon I will copy the bin location of JRE so you need uh, to set the environment variable for both JRE and JDK okay and I have to add another environment variable which is uh, Java home so JDK is our Java home so this is our Java home so just I will go to the parent directory of JDK and I will modify it okay I will close this as well I expect this should work now let me see Java okay so so I will check the environment variable section again um, maybe there can be some duplicates uh, so I have already had on Java maybe it's like they both are getting clashed so I have one here So this is one I tried installing yesterday. I will delete this one as well. This is for SBT. I will install or delete that. Mm, so this is not required for you. So it's Java JDK. Okay. Okay, so let me try again by launching the command prompt. Okay, it's showing. So I think we are good to go because I am able to run this Java command. I will ignore and move on to the next step. So now I have to see install SBT. So I already have the installer. If you just click on this Windows and uh, and if you go down this is msi install if you click that you will get this um, installer get it will get downloaded so i will just double click it run next I accept terms and condition next so if you see here there is an um, option for update environment variable it's better to click on this so you don't have to do things manually we'll just install so it is progressing very fast on my previous installation it took just five seconds in a virtual machine it's actually a virtual machine if you are using your laptop it should be even more faster now it is installed so i think we can proceed to this step uh, before that i have to check this command is working or not 
because in my previous installation this gave me a no internal command found okay luckily this is working for me so this is the full step but i will go on to do this steps as well so they are saying uh, cd to an empty folder cd is uh, a command is a windows command or it's a linux command to change the directory so first i will create an empty folder i will go to libraries or i will see here so it is in c uses vagrant i will go directly to that c uses vagrant i have empty folder created named as scala here so it's empty so what they are expecting you to is go to this particular folder so you can do it by i will exit will it work yes cd to an empty folder this is what they are saying and run the following command okay i will run this so this will uh, set up a project for us so that's what it says sbt uses this to install manage plugins and dependencies so it will create a folder structure in this way hello world project source main scala so if you have learned about the basics of the scala you will see that it will create a directory structure if you are using uh, tools like eclipse whenever you open a java project you can see in a left hand pan it has some default folders for java that is exactly this is going to create it says error okay sorry um, um i think it's due to i am not able to access the git from my network that's the reason so but all i will all it will do is it will create a holder named as hello world and it will create another holder named project and it will create the properties file and source directory main scala this is the place where you will write all your code so this is the main dot scala so here you can write your logics like hello world or your business logic okay thanks for watching this video